So let us try to understand a situation where we are to differentiate a function and an inverse function exists. This can be better understood if we take a general example of this function which is here. This is a simple function that tells that x is determining y. Now if I try to calculate the reciprocal of this function, I will get this which is self-evident that now x is still kept there and the function symbol is shifted to the other side and to make it very easy I am trying to write it in this way where it is being now divided whereas it was being multiplied on the other side. However, it is not the best thing to do because it is not the exact equation that we are dealing with. It is just to make it understandable. So, this f is in the denominator and if I bring it in the numerator definitely the sign of its power will reverse. So, after explaining this step in a very detailed way, uh, let us come back to this which is the actual uh, reciprocalized function which now is representing the effect of y on x instead of x on y. So now you see that the things have been reversed and this is the very gist of an inverse function or the process of reciprocalization where we reverse the uh, variable in such a way that its power is now opposite to what it was. But the effect on the function is that the relationship is now reversed in terms of the nature of variable that is the dependent variable now has become the independent variable and vice versa. So this is the formation of the inverse function. Let us go ahead and see what else we have. This is a definitely the same thing written in certain uh, terms that is x is now an inverse function of y. This is how we read it because inverse is there so we have to mention it here x is an inverse function of y. f inverse x is function related to original fx similar to this. So there is a relationship between these two variables definitely and this relationship is similar to the relationship between the original function and the derivative but it's not same we must not be mistaken it is not the same relationship it is just a similarity that we are trying to highlight here so let us see that how we can actually do the differentiation in such a situation so this is the numerical example and in this numerical example this is the standard form of the function that we just saw and this is the exact equation based on this function that we are going to differentiate and you can easily find the derivative of this function and the answer will be 5 so we have noted that the derivative of the original function is 5. Now if I am to find out the reciprocal function or the inverse function uh, it will be this generally speaking and in this case I just need to find out the value of x in terms of y and here you can see it is happening that the value of x is in terms of y. Now I can do it in either of the ways that is I can differentiate it with respect to y because now y is the independent variable and x its value will be substituted 1 over 5 y minus 5. So if I take the derivative of it the answer will be 1 over 5. Now this is equal to this solution which is actually giving us the same answer but has the virtue of reciprocal in it. As we know that we are to find this derivative 
and it should be the reciprocal of the derivative of the original function. Here you can see this is the derivative of the original function and overall term is the reciprocal of it. Just like this is the original function and this is the reciprocal of it. So, we are going to put the value of dy over dx here as you can see I have done this and if I do this the answer will be this which is equal to this answer. So, there are two ways in which we can find the answer. The first way is to take the derivative and solve it thoroughly and the second way is to use the virtue of a reciprocal function. The answer should be the same. However, not all of the functions are this docile. Sometimes they give us uh, complications and let us see how we can deal with such functions. So, this numerical example is slightly different. Uh, the main thing is the same that is the um, dependence of y on x and uh, the function is given in this equation form which is x raised to the power 5 plus x. Now, if I am to find the inverse function of it, then finding it will be a difficult thing because it is difficult to extract x in terms of y here. So, this is not looking like to be an easy thing because uh, it does not seem possible. Therefore, what we are trying to do here is to use this virtue and not to follow the whole process of finding the derivative right from the beginning by finding the inverse function. So, the virtue is being used here, the virtue of the reciprocal of any function it is given. So, this is the derivative of the original function. If I put it in the denominator of this formula which is the derivative of the reciprocal, this is the derivative of reciprocal function. So, if it is the situation then the answer will be found very easily simply by using the virtue of the reciprocal. So, here we can say that the virtue of reciprocal can save our time and can an enable us to find out the derivative of the reciprocal function without solving it thoroughly. Thank you.